Welcome back. Man, I can see me. Welcome back to Foul Mouth Fishing, all you hookaholics. Uh, well, here's the post. I got my um, mystery tackle box package in the mail a couple of days ago. However, uh, thank God for goodwill power, I didn't open it. I waited for a certain someone to post his video, and uh, that person posted theirs, so here I am posting mine, just to be on the safe side. So, uh, what I got was a big box from MTB. So, uh, the reason I got a big box uh, for my Mystery Tackle Box unboxing is during their Valentine's Day, they had a uh, series of items you could go on the Shop Carl's site, and uh, each one of these individual items, they would have a little candy heart, you know, like you used to get back in, in grade school in your Valentine. Um, so each one of these little pictures would have a candy heart, and if you picked that item, it was given to you at a reduced cost. So I jumped on that sale, and I got like two or three items that, uh, if I recall, that uh, were part of that discount. Um, maybe four. I think I got, there's a grab bag thing in here too, I think. So at any rate, this is, with add-ons, um, the March Mystery Tackle Box Elite Unboxing. And as you can tell, it wasn't opened. So, uh, there we go. So, oh yeah, right on top, there's some of the, some of the giveaways, or some of the good stuff. So, uh, one of those items, part of the, uh, Valentine's Day, was the Summer Craw 8-pack, 3.5-inch size of the, uh, the Game Changer Lures E-Eliminator. Uh, I like these baits. I have the green pumpkin. I have some, some uh, other colors. Uh, I love these on trailers, on, uh, on regular jig heads, as well as fishing them Texas, uh, Tex rig. They also had, um, yeah, it's another Guggen Squad bait. They had the Guggen Squad's uh, De Juice uh, casting jig. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce casting jig. Uh, this is cowboy craw color. I'll get you in there. Let me bring the camera in a little closer. Oh, yep. Why be so far away, right? So uh, you got the uh, cowboy craw color, uh, three eighths from Guggen's, and what else? Some packing pillows, lots and lots of packing pillows. Don't need those. Uh, ah, here's the other one. Uh, we had the uh, Bio Spawn, another Catchco company. Bio Small, it's plasma tails. Now the colors you really couldn't choose on your own. Each um, like each item with the candy was already kind of designed for a specific color. Uh, so unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to choose colors that I personally would want. Um, but uh, I don't know why they call this a plasma tail if it doesn't have like a chartreuse or an orange or, or something on the corner. These are just worms. But anyway, this is the, what color was this one again? Green pumpkin straight 10 count plasma tail. And, uh, and they, they got the Biospawns, Bioscent. Um, so, you know. I think these will be great on a shaky head or uh, or even drop shot it. Now to the to the meat of the package. So we've got this uh, grab bag, which was uh, like a fifteen dollar, I think, something like that, uh, kind of like add on box. I'll set that aside. And my actual March MTB Elite. So uh, let's jump into this, shall we? I've already wasted enough time with the other add ons. So, first come, first serve. We'll open up the box here. Ta-da! Yay, just like those new YouTuber reveals. So you got a first peek. Um, this is impressive. Well, from first glance. This is pretty impressive. There's, there's one or two things I'm actually really liking on the top of this. Um, so, we'll go through this. You get your uh, Dibble, Dibble Digest. In here you've got... Bladed jigs and versus spinner baits, stick worms plus Nico rigs, shaky heads, spinner baits, the blades 101. So that'll give you the different types of blades. You got your Willow, your Colorado, and they don't really go into it. There's other types of blades. There's actually four styles of uh, spinner bait blade that you can really see on 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 spinner baits uh, today. Colorado and Willow are the most common. Um, but uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, comment down below if you know the four, four most common. There might be a, 
another one out there, but the four that I know off the top of my head. But if you know the other two mainstay styles of, of blades that are placed on spinnerbaits, you have your Colorado blade and you have your willow leaf, but there are two other blade profiles that are slightly lesser talked about, but known uh, to anglers. So comment down in the comments below if you can come up with the other two mainstays. And there might just be a special, uh, a special gift or a shout out or something I might do uh, for the lucky person who guesses it right first. All right. So that's the, uh, the Dibble Digest. We obviously have our sticker with the fish on. Knuckle up, fish on, brother. Found it. So that'll definitely go up, uh, up above me, either on the pegboard or up above my, uh, my head on my little shelving system up there. And we have our, our bait card, our what's in the box. And yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten items. Now, Mystery Tackle Box, now you're talking. Elite, ten items. And... I'm going to say this is an elite box up in that top 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Um, it's a 10 out of 10. If, if the retail price is to be seen here, equate, it's a 10 out of 10. So maybe MTB, who has been known to occasionally come in and view my videos, was paying attention to some of the things that I've honestly, you know, I'm blatantly honest, have said just fall below the level of expectation that I should see when you are an elite member and uh, they're trying to make up for it and I hope they do the same thing across the board for everyone who is an elite membership uh, participant. But we're gonna start right off the top. I'll give you a quick little look at the bait products card. So there's the what's in the box 10 items as you can see right there starting with a monster $22 item. We'll see if that's really worth the $22.95. But we can start right off the top with that. So we have uh, Ballista Hunchback, so that's this little guy right here, Ballista Hunchback. This is a, well, I see the 60 millimeter crawler LED Ignite. Okay, now I see where they're going along with that $22 range. It's got LEDs in it. All right, what makes the Hunchback 60 different from any other surface lures is not the huge crawling action or internal rattles. It's our famous LED technology. Water-activated LED, LEDs, red LEDs, red LEDs, red LEDs is scientifically proven to increase strike rate. Marketing. Nevertheless, nifty. So, what we've got here is a very interesting fish shape pattern. And we have got ourselves a Yappa Bug slash Jitterbug, Jitterbug, not Pompadour, Jitterbug bait. So you've got this, in this case, like the Yappa um, has the soft molded rubber lip. This one is more traditional. A Jitterbug had an aluminum lip, a metal lip. This one has a hard plastic lip blended into the plastic bait. Really cool little eyes. I'm going to fair to guess on this that uh, the possibility, as I pan you over here, that the possibility is this uh, probably lights up. Uh, the red eyes probably light up. Let's see what we can do here. Water activated. I don't see any pull tabs that have to be pulled to start the battery. Turn off the old lights here and see whether or not we can get any action out of this. So let's see, we'll dump it in the water. Okay. There's a, a little red LED. I don't know if you can make that out. Let me zoom in the camera here. Obviously it's a surface bait, so you're not gonna... But there you go, you see that little pulsating red LED in the back of the bait. So as soon as those two trebles basically interact and short out create a current between this treble and this treble in the water, that little LED in the ass <laughs> tends to blink. Kind of like a glow bug. So that's pretty cool. Alright. I'll leave it sitting here to dry off. We'll see how long it takes to, uh, to terminate its blinking. Oh, that didn't take too long. Yeah, so once the... Eh, it's still blinking a little bit. 
We'll see how long that takes to stop blinking. But uh, we'll go on from there. Back out. Hey, look, it's my shiny face again. All right, so that's pretty cool. So you got the, uh, like I said, the LED Ignite 60 millimeter crawler. Um, it's a surface just like the Jitterbug. Um, go back. This is made out of Australia. So this is similar to Chase Baits, which I like. I, I do like that. This is Their color for this is called Golden Guts. Um, that's pretty darn nice. $22.95. Something very interesting. It's a bit, uh, you know, a bit of a, of a gimmicky kind of bait. There's a lot of baits out there that had the... Uh, the batteries that you plugged into your, you know, micro USB to charge and it would end up vibrating, shaking, lighting up, doing whatever. I'm going to say this is on the same plane. What I do like about this is lights or not, jitterbugs catch bass. They catch big topwater bass. It's a classic grandpappy's old lure. Um, and so right up there with your head and spooks, um, the jitterbugs from, uh, you know, are, are, are definitely a go-to bait, so I don't have a problem with this even long after this LED battery or this LED light st stops functioning. Um, it's still going to be a, a pliable jitterbug. It's not just going to be just a, a basic minnow bait. That's cool. $22.95. Now we're talking elite status purchase items. Uh, next, Jenko Fishing's Trap Line Rip Knocker. Okay, I got a quick story on this. Let's see what we got here. It's going to be in the box. There we go. Alrighty, so, Yanko Jenko Fishing Citrus Shad. There's that citrus color I like so much. So it comes in citrus shad. Um, funny story about this, there was another YouTuber I was conversing with. I was watching one of his other videos, and he was very dismayed because he thought maybe that he got a broken bait. Um, I honestly, I had never seen this before. I had never heard of this before. It is a one-knocker single one knock large marble in there um, it is a line through hard bait so it's a line through hard lipless crankbait as opposed to your typical line through baits being your um, you know your soft plastic uh, line throughs but it comes with your treble hook you'll run your line down through where your line tie would be on a standard uh, crank and then your line will come out through the belly where typically your weight would be maybe a little bit far farther back than your weight would be surfaced and then you'll tie your line onto your treble then when the fish is hooked this can slide up the line and reduce the leverage that that fish has in order to wrench the hook out of his mouth so by this freeing itself and sliding up your line it allows you to fight and play the fish a lot more um, you know, deliberately and a lot more effectively without worrying about this getting caught into the mouth of the fish and him using it as leverage to shake and rip the hook out. Um, that is a great plan. Again, I I was like, I, I hope that you contact, you know, MTB and, and tell them that they gave you a broken bait. And then lo and behold, we were both mistaken. This is actually a line through, um, you know, and later retrospect, we figured it out. And I contact him back, you know, we, we, we uh, finished up our conversation, I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know, that's nifty. I'm kind of interested to see this, because like I said, I've never seen a line-through hard bait. I've seen line-through when it comes to soft plastics. Um, this one, again, Citrus Shad, made in China, of course, and um, I don't see much in the way of weights and measures on the bait, unfortunately, Yanko. Um, so, wait... I might have to uh, like weigh it on my scale and put that in the information down down below. I'll probably do that a little later. But that's an interesting bait nonetheless. And they sell that for $8.99. Third, Lunker Hunt's Lunker Frog. Now this, I've got plenty of. Hold on one second. It's going to be one of them jippity jumpity videos. So, the old frog box. I won't show you what's over there. It's a bloody spring cleaning mess. So, uh, so let's see. We've got the Lunker Hunts Lunker Frog. And by all means, I've got plenty of them. Here's, uh, here's one in that, that sandstone color. Here's one in the, in the chartreuse I like so much. That yellow belly definitely catches them. I got this one came in a box. It's a, like the military uh, army drab green. Um, so now I actually have another good color to add to that. I always like to keep my 
my frogs with three main color schemes. I like, here's a yappa toad, you got the, uh, or yappa frog, you got the chartreuse yellow belly. I like to have a white belly, and I like to have a black belly. And again, just to recap real quick, here's the yappas, and it's that soft, pliable jitterbug lip, and then that other bait from before has that hard uh, plastic lip and a little more you know angular diamond pattern this is more rounded off on the sides but that's that's going to be a cool top water i'm like i said interested to see how that works now it's dried out it's not wasting the battery anymore that's a good thing so now i can add to my uh to my chartreuse and my kind of beige color i can add a nice white tone to the bottom because it's always good to have a white belly bait especially if you have uh, murkier water so there's the lunker hunts lunker frog and this one is one half ounce with a two and a half or two and a quarter inch, excuse me, size. So that's a plus. And they got that at eight dollars twenty nine cents. You can pretty much find them on sale. It's an older bait. Um, you can find them on on sale at stores for a little bit less than that for sure. Carl's Amaz Amazing Baits Spinner Bait. Carl's Carl's Amazing. So you got yourself your standard white chartreuse. They call this chartreuse white. Eh. Go figure. Uh, half inch with the mustad hooks. And this again, this one has your willow leaf blade and an, a larger willow leaf blade. So willow leaf, willow leaf. So it's a double willow. Typical spinner bait. Uh, this one does not have that sealed eyelet for your, it's stapled shut, so I'm not even going to bother with it. But it doesn't have a sealed, sealed eye in there. It's got that loop where the wire loops up and just goes 90 to it. Uh, again, check out my video on how to take care of making this a lot easier on you to tie on to. Less chance of, the, of your line and you're not sliding up or down and changing the action and the cadence of your bait when you're pulling it and drawing it through. Make it a little easier for you and, and youngins who uh, aren't exactly as proficient at tying knots. And certainly it helps with line chafe against that metal. Because over time, especially if you're not attentive to your baits, little tiny specks of rust can form, other things can happen, you're dinging this off of uh, rock or something, running it along uh, weed edges, and maybe you catch a stump, and it might tweak the metal, or twist it, or what have you, and it could put little tiny micro burrs on it, and those burrs can chafe your line and cut it away. I have a solution, I'll leave the link to that video at the end of this one, along with the link to my video, What Can Line Through Do For You, which is a little DIY line through trick. Um, I can show you for smaller uh, swim baits, larger swim baits, solid plastic, um, soft plastic swim, bait, uh, swim baits to make them line through. But it's a little hack that helps um, prevent line chafe and break offs as well as making it easier to tie on your line to begin with um, where you don't have to worry about your knots not being cinched enough and sliding around. So I'll leave that link to that uh, at the end of this video as well. That Carl's spinner bait is $5.99. Northern Tackle. Impulse Dipstick, Northern Tackle, Northern Tackle. Well, I see Impulse, so what do we got here? We've got Supercharged Impulse uh, Reactionary Baits, Excite the Bait with Scent, Color, and Action, Northern, Northern Fishing Tackle. So you got yourself a eight pack, full, eight pack of assorted um, Senkos. So these are nice, nice little Senkos. All right, so you got your little fishy smell there. It's not anisette, it's not the garlic, it's your typical soft plastic kind of fish smell. But uh, yeah, soft plastic stick bait. It's got the hook rib, or the hook cutout right there. It's a nice uh, kind of green pumpkin brownish tone with a hue of, um, you got black flake and red in there. So black and red flakes inside. And it's a nice pack of of stick worms. This is the time you've got stick worms are always good. Texas rig catching now, dragging on the bottom. Winter dragging really slow and dead sticking. Um, if these float, which they do, they do not. They sink. So they're a slow sinking bait. Um, yep. There, land on the wood. <laughs> they're a slow sinking bait. So uh, you know that's good. If these were floating, I would say throw them on a Ned rig. Since they don't, 
float since they sink slow, I would say go wacky rig on these. Don't waste your time on a Ned. Don't waste your time on, uh, you know, on uh, trying to do them on a, on a, on a uh, like finesse profile style. Go straight up, wacky rig them, and or or Texas rig them, and they should work out really well for you. Those baits from Northern's Tackle is five dollars and seventy nine cents. Moving right along, Z-Man, name brand. Scented jerk, jerk shads. So these are the shad style jerk bait, little tiny flukes. And they're made from that Elaztec plastic. And here's a great moment in history. This is gonna be a longer video because of, you know, obviously there's a lot of, a lot of items. But for all those out there, and there's no offense, I love, you know, I love Brian Latimer, all right? Brian Latimer, you know your shit, you, you work with Z-Man, and as they say from Z-Man, the product company itself, your best way of maintaining your Z-Man products is to maintain them in the packages they come in. Newer Z-Mans come with the clamshell, this package does not, uh, sadly. But something that I've learned, I don't keep my Z-Man baits in their packages. None of them, the ones that come with clamshells or not. It's a little less, um, fortuitous for me to store them when they're in the clamshell. It'd be easier in a boat, yes, but in a tackle bag or on a shelf, uh, I can condense and consolidate a heck of a lot of my baits, otherwise I'd have rooms of baits, um, into a smaller compact area by taking them out and putting them into a Plano style container. Now I say Plano style, not a Plano. Plano's plastic, what they use to build their boxes, their, their crates, it's not not advantageous to put Z-Man products in them. This will pull the softener out of the Plano. It'll warp the Plano. It'll warp the dividers. It'll warp the actual lid and make the Plano less airtight and less, it screwed up. However, there is one brand manufacturer that I've used for years, years. I've only recently, as of last year, changed one box to a different, and it was only because they offered, it's not because of anything that this company, this, this name, this, this, what do they call it, um, brand, uh, branded association, um, has to offer. I'm not a fan of theirs. I'm not against them. I'm not a tractor. But it was a color that was different from all the rest of mine, so it, it singled itself out as, this is the box that has all of my 1,000 Fishies Zukoshi bugs and my Z-Man Elaztec baits. And that comes from Bass Mafia. Bass Mafia, the coffins do not change. The plastic is so thick and it's a different version. It's a heavier, harder gauge plastic that I keep my Z-Man products and my Sakoshi bugs and all the other Elastec brand items that you can buy in this crate specifically here's my elaztec frogs the uh, popping popping toads those are toads not frogs uh obviously my little neds z-man neds and i will put these flukes in here and the reason i bring that up by putting them in this crate and by keeping them laid out flat they do not change shape. They stay factory shaped. They stay fresh because it's hard enough that it's not gonna get squished. Now, mind you, I, I store it flat. I don't store it on an angle. I don't store it on a weird, where, it would, where gravity would push it against one of the dividers or what have you. But my dividers have never warped. This lid is heavier gauge. They don't warp. The dividers themselves are a thicker gauge. However, pulling right out of this very brand new bag, look at that fluke tail, messed up. Store it in the bag, they say. It's messed up. Um, these are five inch five packs. Here's another one. Because of its sitting, heat, and what have you, it has come out and it's messed up. Here's a third. Now you've got one that's correct. So two out of three. Three out of four. Or excuse me, two out of four. And let's see the third one. I'll give that. Three out of five. Three out of five with two that I will have to 
take care to try to straighten out the tails. Easy way to do this, what I do is I go and I get like a large soda straw. When it comes to flukes, flukes and, and um, oftentimes worms, if it gets messed up like this, I get a straw, a large enough that'll fit over the profile, at least like say to here down. I'll stick this tail in that straw and I'll leave this in some hot water. Not boiling, but basically boil your water, let it come down, let the rolling boil settle out, give it a minute to cool off slightly, and then sit this in there with the straw on it and just let it sit until the water cools itself off. Take the straw and see whether or not it's coerced itself to soften out and straighten. Um, Z-Man products actually melt at a pretty substantial temperature, so you're not at risk using boiling water of ruining the bait or melting the profile, but you will give that, that, reaction, that, that uh, chemical reaction, that heat reaction, thermal reaction, to kind of coerce it back into being sort of tuned to being straight again. Otherwise, I've got two basically useless flukes out of the bag. But I'll, I'll take my, do my, des my best uh, to, to try to remedy that. All right, the Z-Man's Jerk Shads are $4.49. And they are stinky. Stinky because they're covered in Z-Man stuff. All right, next, Hard Hats Jigs. I love Hard Hat Jigs. They actually make some pretty good stuff. This is called the Excavator. That's not it. Hard Hat, there we go. Excavator, all right, so you got some uh, shaky heads, and these are the screw lock keepers, which again is a plus. So you got shaky head for bottom dragon, screw lock keeper, you can text rig, text expose your hook, make it very weedless. It's always beneficial to have a screw lock to make a, a weedless presentation. Um, nice eye, nice head. This also would probably work pretty well, although it's very light. This would be a good skipper. You could probably skip this into your location where you want to get um, before, before it drops down because of the, the nice bowl shape. Sort of like skipping a rock, you want a flat, you know, a nice plane to kind of catch the water. So when you're skipping, follow through on that underhand up uh, motive and, and it'll skip into a dock or underneath a dock, I should say, or up underneath a tree limb into the shade cover if you're fishing off a boat. Or for me, off a bank, I can skip it across from one side to the other side and try to get it underneath some shade on trees on the other side. Keeps my profile out of the fish's eye and lets me get it down into where the fish might be, uh, might be settled in for ambush. So that's pretty cool. That is a four-odd hook on black, and it's a 3 16 ounce, so it's a little, it's a little lightweight. I like that. That's definitely going to come in handy. Also, uh, those hard hats excavators are $3.99. Now we have Somatis Baits, Trick Worm. Somatis, another good company. So here we've got ourselves a Finesse Trick Worm. This is a small pack. I'm going to call it a sample pack. Again, not happy, but $2.79. So I'll give it, it's a sample pack. I'm not happy it's a sample pack, but it's priced as a sample pack. $2, $2.79 for four baits. I'll err on the side of saying, yeah, that's right. It's not something that says it's $3.99, $4.99, and you get three, four of these baits. So Semantis Trick Worm, your watermelon pumpkin, watermelon seed, black seed, um, let's see what color they call this. They never really put colors on their baits. But I'm going to call it a pumpkin seed or a watermelon seed. It's, you know, it's that transparent green. Um, it's got that hue of letter, yellow and gold, which I go. When I see the yellow and gold, I look at watermelon. Uh, well, not watermelon red, but like the, the rind. Um, or pump, well, pumpkin's more like the auburn orange. But anyway. Green pumpkin for me is a lot darker and less transparent, translucent. It's more, um, you know, opaque. Uh, and then you got your black flake in there. That's cool. That's a four pack again, $2.79. Next to last, cream. Cream lures. Boy, this brings back memories. So, like I say, be fishing. I know you're not aware. You didn't remember. I dropped the stuff. But, uh... Cream. Cream was the name of the lure company that I liked from a from being a child that made worms that looked to me like worms. 
like Jersey Nightcrawlers. So they were they were a uh, cream, for lack of a better term, a cream beige color, a little white hue, pink, and then they they faded. They faded to that little to that red color. So they weren't solid tones. They were very um, I don't know they faded. So this is the split tail trailer. These are tiny little um, all white five pack of I believe it's a three inch. I would call it a three inch. Obviously, in a package like this, again, sample pack, but we did get 10 baits, and this is priced like a sample bait. So I will uh, tear this open here just to give a better look. It's got some nice ribbing to add a little bit of water displacement to the bait. It's all white. You're probably not going to make out, but there are ever so slightly these little ribs. We'll see how that comes out when I post this. But uh, they're a split tail, as you can see, nice long, drawn out split tails, and these are a trailer for whatever you want to use it on. I would use this uh, most likely on a smaller finesse jig head. Um, I would not use this on, on these, only because there's not enough plastic in the head here to, uh, to catch to that, that, uh, that screw lock keeper. Um, I would probably use this on a very small... Uh, like that hair jig I got a couple boxes uh, ago in um, uh, Rush Tackle, got my hair jig. I might try that. That was a finesse thing. Um, it was a little green pumpkin. This is white. But hey, I catch a lot of rainbow trout on things like this. Little white trout magnets, little white uh, curly tail grubs on jigs. Um, and I use big hook jigs and catch big trout uh, in my lake on, uh, on white. So that's a go-to. We also catch some, some pretty darn good sized uh, largemouth bass on white, on white baits. Uh, and now we're not talking sight fishing, we're just talking general uh, spring and fall white baits. Nail them. Cream's Lure Split Tail Trailers, $2.29. Again, it's a five pack, but $2.29, I'll call that a sample. I give sample packs anything from nine, 99 cents for a pack, 50 cents a pack, whatever. Uh, depending on what the bait's going to be, uh, a sample pack all the way up to about $3. Once you hit that $3 and a penny, now you're going into what would be like a crankbait or something else you can get for $3. It doesn't, it's, to me, that's anything over $3 is not a sample pack. Finally, the piece de resistance. We've got a Catch Outdoor Zero Gravity Hybrid Airquake. So now we have a bladed jig. I just did in my last video a little touch on... Um, on bladed jigs, on chatterbaits. So this is their version of a chatterbait. So you have a nice uh, fish head style. you know, got that beautiful fish profile. It's even got the mouth in there. That looks really cool. Um, the eyes and that little spot on the back. You've got that leaf blade in chrome. Uh, this one, I probably would not suggest doing that hack that I provided just because of the way that this angle points to the tip. I would just leave this the way they designed it. Uh, if this was more elliptical, more oval, less, uh, less, less a dramatic uh, point at the top, I would say if you've got some of these other uh, baits, they're coffin shaped, but they're not bent like a chatterbait, you can mimic that chatterbait bend and just tune and tweak it by putting this either in a flat vise or clamp and then bending it just with your fingers until you can mimic that uh, that 20 degree angle or so and get yourself a lot more thump in the water by by bending that blade back to catch the water quicker start the vibration quicker um, it, it's just it's just a way to hack it now this has got a nice hook very sticky hook decently sticky hook uh, it's got a wire single wire keeper on the back it doesn't have the uh, the lead keeper on the on the actual profile it does have a really nice um, skirt I like that it's not overly uh, predominant it's a very fine skirt so it's a finesse style again I could probably come back and trim this up a little bit don't need to be that long um, maybe maybe these creams would work well on this keeping the the round side down to catch that uh, to catch that hook keeper, but there's a very good possibility this trailer, especially with the white that's in this, excuse the phone, 
um, oh, might yeah. actually be a video. very good uh, good trailer for this. So uh, that's a pretty oh, good idea. Yeah. Thanks again. Again, they always tend to uh, make it a point to um, you know make sure that the oh Lloyd, <laughs> I don't edit. <laughs> So they always make it a good point to try to put baits with trailers or hooks with the baits and try to give you that ability to open a box and go fishing. So that was the last bait in the box and the Cash Outdoor Zero Gravity Hybrid Airquake is $9.49. So for that, I'm kind of interested that they didn't just go straight top to bottom because you would have put that in the second place when, uh, when opening this up, but they put it at the bottom. So maybe that was additional add-on uh, afterthought. Regardless of that, I appreciate all of you hanging out with me. As always, um, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think of this month's MTB. Do you think it was a value, uh, a value bait this time around? Again, we had 10 of them as opposed to the typical 6, 7, 8. Um, two, that I can definitely consider sample packs. But, again, overall quality... And with that crazy little glowing LED bait, similar to when I got from my Angler's Hall, I had the uh, the token that the the, um, the social media clicker. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's technology. It's technology added to the pack uh, as advancing fishermen into the tech realm. So uh, I'm gonna say, out of ten, nine point five. Nine point five. I won't give you a ten. I never give anybody a ten out of ten. But I'll give you a nine point five out of ten. Uh, just because of the quantity, uh, adding some things in there that are quality that I know for a fact are quality, um, adding some things in there that are, again, outside the norm, which brings variety to me. So uh, I apologize for this being a 38 minute or so video, but uh, I, hope, uh, I hope it was a little bit different. I, I hope that a lot of the stuff in here, you guys out there with your elite packages also got. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if you guys got the same things. If you guys with the pro boxes, which typically get like one or two items less than what the elites get, if you got a lot of the similar things, I'd like to see some of you pros maybe have that $22 bait. Um, we'll see. Regardless, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the Jitterbug style bait um, and, uh, and whether you would fish it if you really fall for that, uh, for that red LED in the butt. Sort of like, you'd think it would be like a glow fly shape instead of a fish pattern. <laughs> the paint scheme, but hey, whatever. But uh, we'll definitely have some video of this and see whether it catches anything. Um, but yeah, you tell me in the comments below. Share this video with anyone who you know likes fishing or is interested in fishing or interested in joining uh, Mystery Tackle Box. As always, I leave the link in the description. And again, thanks for spending the time with me. From me to all of you out there, um, tight lines, fair weather. I'll catch you in the next cast. Peace.